Hello everyone, thank you for purchasing our level to membership. This video contains drills for agriculture and fishery arts major with correct answer and rationalization. Are you ready to take this drills? Let's start to question number one. Which breed of goat is known for its long, silky hair and suitability for fiber production? A. Angora B. Lamanca C. Nubian D. Aberhasli The correct answer is letter A, Angora. The Angora breed of goat is known for its long, silky hair and suitability for fiber production. Angora goats have a long, silky coat that is highly sought after for its softness and warmth. They are known for their hair which is used to make clothing and other textile goods, making them one of the best fiber-producing goats. Here are the pictures of these for breeds of goats. This one is Angora. Second is Lamanca. Third is Nubian. Last is Aber Hosley. Question number two. You are raising a group of pigs in an indoor facility and have noticed that some of them are showing signs of aggression and fighting. What is the best course of action? A. Separate the affected pigs to prevent further fighting. B. Increase the amount of feed provided to the pigs to reduce aggression. C. Administer medications to the affected pigs to reduce aggression. D. Increase the size of the indoor facility to provide more space for the pigs. Correct answer is letter A. Separate the affected pigs to prevent further fighting. Aggression and fighting in pigs can be caused by a variety of factors, including overcrowding and competition for resources. To prevent further fighting and ensure the health and well-being of the pigs, it may be necessary to separate the affected pigs and provide additional space and resources. Question number three. Which of the following is a common method of identifying cattle? A. Ear notching. B. Wing banding. C. Toe clipping. D. Tail docking. Correct answer is letter A. Ear notching. Ear notching is a common method of identifying cattle. It involves making distinctive notches or cuts on the ears of the cattle to create unique patterns that can be used to identify individual animals. This method is widely used in livestock management systems and allows for easy visual identification of cattle. It is a simple and efficient way to keep track of individual animals within a herd. Wing banding is not a method used to identify cattle. Wing banding is a technique used to mark and identify birds, typically involving attaching a band or tag to their wings. Toe clipping is also not a method used to identify cattle. Toe clipping is a technique used in scientific research on small animals like rodents, where a portion of the toe is removed to create a unique marking for identification purposes. While tail docking is the practice of removing a portion of an animal's tail, typically done for various reasons such as hygiene, aesthetics, or breed standards. Question number 4. The act or process of giving birth to a young animal's A. Ovulation B. Mastification C. Pycolotherms D. Parturation The correct answer is letter D. Parturation. Parturition is the act or process of giving birth to a young animal. It is the final stage of pregnancy in which the fetus is expelled from the mother's uterus and delivered into the outside world. 
Ovulation, on the other hand, is the process by which a mature ovarian follicle releases an egg into the fallopian tube for fertilization. It is a key event in the reproductive cycle of female animals, including mammals and birds. Mastication refers to the process of chewing food in the mouth, while poikilotherms are animals whose body temperature varies with the temperature of their environment. Question number 5. The series of process by which an organism takes and assimilates food for promoting growth and replacing worn out or injured tissues. A. Nutrients. B. Nutrition. C. Protein. D. Amino acids. Correct answer is letter B. Nutrition. Nutrition refers to the series of processes by which an organism takes in, assimilates, and utilizes food for promoting growth and replacing worn out or injured tissues. It encompasses the ingestion, digestion, absorption, transport, metabolism, and excretion of nutrients in the body. Question number 6. The abnormal of difficult labor during parturition? A. Dystocia, B. Emaciation, C. Defecation, D. Litter. The correct answer is letter A. Dystocia. Dystocia is a term used to describe abnormal or difficult labor during parturition, which is the process of giving birth. Dystocia can be caused by a variety of factors, including fetal size or position, maternal health or anatomy, and environmental stressors. It is a potentially life-threatening condition for both the mother and the offspring, and requires prompt diagnosis and intervention by a veterinarian. Emaciation refers to a state of extreme thinness or wasting of the body, typically due to a prolonged period of malnutrition or disease. Defecation is the process of eliminating waste material from the body, typically in the form of feces, through the rectum and anus. Litter refers to a group of offspring born to an animal during a single parturition event. Question number 7. A group of animals which possess certain characteristics that are common to individuals within the group of animals within same species. A. Type. B. Breed. C. Stride. D. Strain. Correct answer is letter B breed. A breed is a group of animals within the same species that possess certain characteristics that are common to individuals within the group. These characteristics can be physical, such as coat color or body shape, or they can be related to behavior or performance. Type can refer to the general appearance or characteristics of an individual animal, stride refers to the length of an animal's step and strain can refer to a particular genetic line within a breed or species. Question number 8. The collective term denoting the four legs of animals? A. Litter. B. Wean. C. Underpinning. D. Top line. Correct answer is letter C. Underpinning. The term underpinning is used to denote the collective term for the four legs of an animal. The underpinning is an important part of an animal's body structure, providing support and balance for the rest of the body. Litter refers to a group of young animals born to the same mother at the same time. Wean refers to the process of gradually introducing solid food to a young animal and transitioning it from milk to solid food. Top line refers to the muscles along the animal's back, from the withers to the croup. Question number 9. The inflammation of the udder or mammary gland. A. Mastitis. B. Metritis. C. Litter. D. Nicking. The correct answer is letter A. Mastitis. Mastitis is an inflammatory condition that affects the udder or mammary gland in animals, 
typically caused by bacterial infection. This condition is particularly common in dairy cows and can lead to decreased milk production and even permanent damage to the udder. Metritis is an inflammation of the uterus in animals, often caused by infection after giving birth. Nicking refers to a technique used in horse racing to make a small cut on a horse's tail, which is thought to improve the horse's aerodynamics and speed. Question number 10. Which of the following is a benefit of using genetically modified crops in agriculture? A. Increased diversity of crops. B. Improved soil health. C. Reduced use of pesticides. D. Lower costs for farmers. Correct answer is letter C. Reduced use of pesticides. Some genetically modified crops have been engineered to be resistant to certain pests or diseases, which can reduce the need for pesticides and other chemicals in agriculture. This can have benefits for both the environment and human health.